G'day guys, Mac with the Outer Circle, and today, something very interesting happened. What was that something? Well, I received a lot of complaints from people in a couple of groups I'm not only in, but I also admin, namely buy, swap, and sell groups. These complaints came in over several months, and eventually it's got to the point where I decided to say something about it, because I don't want to see my fellow hobbyists ripped off. So I put up a post and it says, look, here is this person, here's the details of what they're doing, and I'll read as follows. So, not normally do I point out specific people, but today, after many weeks of discourse with the local community, I'm posting this. First, do not seek out nor harass this person. I cannot state clearly enough how bad of an idea that is. Now, this person is actively preying on the hobby community offering commission painting and decal printing services. She has actively screwed many people over. Usually her tactic is to play nice, take an order on, and then when questioned by people over extremely slow production times, or other faults I should have added, she actively tries to block and report them. This post is to advise people not to deal with her, and I've included details for her business so that if you have dealt with her and have had a financial transaction, you can try and contact Australian Fair Trading to receive some kind of reimbursement. If by any means she sees this and wishes to complain, that would be a very poor move as there's now dozens of witnesses who will actively share their stories, not to mention Games Workshop PLC probably won't take too kindly to a person reproducing their decal sheets for profit, and they're not exactly afraid to be litigious. Seems fair enough, right guys? I haven't attacked the person, I've actively told people not to attack the person, but Unfortunately, you have to name the person in these situations or else what's the point of any message at all? If you just say, oh, there's a nebulous person out there who's dodgy, don't buy off them, that doesn't tell anyone every anything at all. So I went out and I said, Look, here is the person. Here is some screenshots, a bunch of information for you guys to work off so you know that I'm not just talking shit. Here's some citations. Well, that didn't go down very well. Because the person screenshotted it and then went out of her way to go onto multiple pages and post about the outer circle. Uh, and to report me and to report my personal Facebook posts uh, as well. So far, Facebook hasn't banned my account or anything like that. Um, but needless to say, pretty poor form. Again, this is a person who has done the wrong thing and who has a trail of evidence, screenshots, private PM conversations that have been sent to me between her and people where they've said, hey, this thing arrived uh, and it's faulty, and then she's just stopped replying and blocked them. That's the average course of action. I think we all know the kind of behavior here. So she's gone out of her way to block me and is also seeking legal advice, she says. She's gone on, posted up my personal uh, profile on that, I feel my masculinity threatened. At not one point have I mentioned masculinity. Um, I, just, I did say it was a she in direct reference to the person, so I guess I mentioned gender there, but still has nothing to do with gender. I think it's pretty obvious because I didn't say because this person's a woman. I said because of this person's actions. Uh, and so she's gone out of her way to complain, at which point I then start getting messages in my inbox. What gives you the right to attack a person who is trying to make an honest sale? Just because you have a personal gripe, get over yourself. If you try and attack me for defending the seller, I will report you for harassment. Retract your post or legal action will be taken towards you for not just harassment, but for interference with a person making an honest sale. Do they can live? You wouldn't like it if it was done to you, would you? Great English. To which I responded. And I do apologize for this, guys. It is probably very small if you're reading this or watching this on a phone. I do not have a personal gripe, nor is it a personal attack. It was noted who the seller is, as it has come up in multiple buy, swap, and sell groups, which I'm an admin in. The correspondence passed on to me by the affected parties has all confirmed the actions of said people, including detailed information of failures in the transactions, hence the post on Facebook and the comments that people should A, not harass or engage in harassing behaviour, and B, seek to use government fair trading resources to lodge their complaints. The only allegations that she screwed over uh, several people, which is confirmed, and I made mention that she is reproducing copies of Games Workshop products unlicensed. Not only is none of that illegal, 
but in fact, it is the entirely legal way to go about it, with the government agency mentioned who people should contact if they felt they needed to be, uh, if their transactions were imperiled. As to how I would feel and threatening a lawsuit, that's a call to authority, not an actual legally binding argument, but I'm happy to have my barrister answer for me if you would like. Barrister is a senior lawyer in Australia. To which they responded, The person in question is trying to make a living with their sales, and what I've seen from your page is harassment, and I ask you to cease and remove the post because you're leading into slander. I'm sure you don't want your reputation to be judged based upon supporting people who are harassing a female who is trying to survive in the modelling hobby projects world. This isn't just a male hobby. To which I then responded, The Australian defamation and libel law requires that someone makes comments about you that are defamatory. For the purposes of proofs, you require, at a minimum, A. Defamation is the spreading and or saying of something that isn't true that damages a person's reputation or a business's brand, whether it is verbal or written. B. The comments are made to an audience, and C. The comments damage your reputation among the group. If all, that's the biggest thing here, all, as you must prove all, of these things occur, you may have a case to sue for defamation, when the case depends on evidence you've collected. As I have indisputable records of the transactions between said instigating party and multiple members of the community, as well as reports to the administrators of multiple buy, swap and sell groups, you do not legally meet the proofs. Just ask a lawyer. Secondly, Gangs Workshop would be more of a concern than myself as it's their IP that's been violated. By all means, make a living. I don't want to deny that to anyone. However, I cannot be doing my part for the community if I let so many complaints go silent. So please take this on board. I have no personal anger and bear no malice here. But I have to show what I've been presented by multiple people. The burden of proof has been met and a free pass is not awarded based on gender as how one identifies does not act as a deflection of criticism. For my part, I'll say this. If she makes amends with all the aggrieved parties, I'll not only take down the post, I'll make a public statement to the fact that she went out of her way to do the right thing and support her going forward. To which he responded, All information you have posted has been recorded and will be sent to legal services. You're a toxic group, we're a page, that shouldn't be on Facebook. Goodbye. Another of their response, because obviously they're screenshotting um, and were too dumb to send the screenshots to the correct person, so they started replying to the group they are in, another of their response, realised that, then came back to me and spoke more. Hmm, copyright wars, you say. Better check all your decals then. Which, at the time, I was like, that's a strange thing to write. And I said, feel free to go down the legal route, but you have to prove that what I said has damaged them and that what has been said is untrue. By the way, this was spoken directly to me by a lawyer. So your lawyer would have to prove the allegations are false by getting the victims to show that they lied about everything that they allege. That means every customer who complained on the buy swap sell groups has to be pulled into court and agree they lied. Also, it's not conducting court talks in good faith to threaten someone. That's also something judges look at, so thanks for the free evidence. To which they responded, yeah, right, want ever. If I find your store and see your illegal decals, be aware more will be done on you and your business to have it shut down. You're the bully and the male toxic nature in the model hobby places needs to stop. Again, fantastic English. Um, to which I responded, I do not have a store. I do not sell models nor decals. I do have a Spreadshirt account where you can buy a t-shirt. Then you have no business to infer or harass the seller with slander. To which I replied, slander and libel are American terms. Australia uses the term derogatory. As mentioned, the proofs for this are not met, which means I'm not being derogatory. However, it became my business as I'm a member and admin on several of the pages, so I responded to the community through my platform with their legal recourse. That's how the law works, which is exactly what it does. So now I'd like to show you guys some of this. So this is some of the information that was posted up in multiple groups and which I myself shared on the Outer Circles Facebook page. As you can see, that is a straight rip of Games Workshop's IP. Now, normally, I wouldn't really care about the rip part. Games Workshop's a big enough company that they can absorb someone selling a few decals. That's fine. That doesn't aggrieve me in the least. I'm completely indifferent on that front. Apart from an admin on a page, not you know, you don't want to allow the reselling. You don't condone the actions. 
but otherwise I'm indifferent to it. But if I'll see it, yeah, I'll have to stop it by law. So they've posted this up, and then, well, obviously I've pointed it out. They've also posted up more of this. Uh, you also notice this isn't my phone either. Why? Because I was getting sent these things by multiple people on multiple accounts. The same person saying, I provide decal printing of these sheets and showing a bunch of Games Workshop sheets, which they do not have the license to, that they have been reprinting. Okay, let's keep going here. What kind of quality is this? Also, this is an old Space Wolves transfer sheet. But what kind of quality is this, guys? So when I say poor quality, is that derogatory, libelous, or slanderous? Do you think this is a high-end quality product that people got what they paid for? No. What about this? Uh, this one comes with a quote from the person uh, who bought it. I think I was probably the first victim. Dealt with her, took several weeks. I gave her the benefit of the doubt, but she was pretty rude and eventually managed to get a refund um, as she wasn't prepared to try and fix the decals as I didn't trust it and I didn't want to test the decals before sending. The issue with the decals is they disintegrate underwater and also have a weird blue film in them that won't be obvious on a blue model, but on anything else is crap. Yeah, would not recommend. Poor and unprofessional. And as you can see, it's not a translucent uh, white piece of... Well, sorry, I should say a clear piece of paper. Um, the decal is poorly printed onto it, and it's blue. <laughs> it's blue. Uh, there was also another thread on one of the pages I'm on. 55 people commented on. I bought some House Griffith transfers from her. I was only able to use a few because she messed up the scale and just added random shit to it that I didn't ask for because she couldn't find a decent quality source image. They're also super fragile and a few of them the ink just dissolved during application. Yeah, I got some and they were shit. The same person says, still got them if anyone wants pictures. Another person said, I ordered some bases from her and she got the wrong measurements although I made illustrated drawings to the exact measurements. She blocked me after I bought this up. Another person said, for my two cents, a few years ago she was doing a paint commission for me and I prepaid fully beforehand. Then, a negligent on the deal, didn't even give the dollars back. Then, she showed her face with the decal product, I gave her the benefit of the doubt. And it goes on like that. Basically, it was the exact same complaint. I'm sorry, I've cropped it all off. As you guys can see, um, I really appreciate this because um, that's sarcasm. I have to go out as a page admin and speak to the community and say, look, here is a person who is doing, at the least, poor transactions and bad transactions. I can't stop the person doing this. I can only stop them doing it on the buy, swap, sell pages I'm on, but you have to spread awareness in other groups. The best way for me to do that is to use my platform, a platform which isn't just for attacking Games Workshop, it's for giving you consumer guidance. And rather than go and make a video about the person, plaster their face all over YouTube, I decided I will do a single post about it on Facebook. What aggrieves me is that this person has then not only taken that as a personal attack, but then they've gone and tried to personally attack me back. It's such a strange set of circumstances. And yet what I've done is fully within the law. It's fully justified. And so I'll say this. If you want to go out and you want to rip off people in the community and think oh, just because you're a woman you get a free pass, that's not true. It's not why you're attacked, as you so put it, as I think I've plainly demonstrated. It's got nothing to do with it. There is two people I've actively complained about basically ripping off the community. One was the people who organized the London GT a couple of years back with their foam terrain, despite the fact they pulled in many, many tens of thousands of dollars for the event. Uh, provided piss poor all for it, uh, which was a group of guys that organized that. And in this case, it's a female. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you're a female. What matters here is the content, and the content is craptacular. Um, again, let's just, let's just look at this one more time. Blue for the clear transfer sheets. Transfer sheets that don't dissolve correctly or that the actual ink on them dissolves off, as you can see in the lower half of the image or low resolution details. None of this is what people ask for, and yet this is what they've got. And so, is this derogatory? Is this slander? Is this libel? No, all of those things are when you lie. There is no lie here. I've put the proof up. Now the whole internet gets to see it because you couldn't keep your fucking mouth shut. You couldn't turn around and make amends. And I gave you every opportunity. I actually said in the message, look, all that has to be done 
Um, and I, I want people to know it was not the original person who made the screw up that sent all the private messages to me. The original person who made the screw up screenshotted a bunch of stuff off the Outer Circles Facebook page and my personal page. And he's going around trying to report me and go into multiple groups and spin crap about me. So if you do see it, please call that out. But um, it was a different person, um, a different woman who came along and complained to me and made all these other allegations. Uh, but I think the evidence speaks for itself. So congratulations, you've both made the prime time on YouTube. And I've been kind enough, although I'm under no legal obligation to, to censor your images and your names. Because I'm not a dick. Okay? The original intent of the original post where your name was shown was in order to inform people, do not trade with this person. This information, many of the pictures that I've shown in this thing, is just some of the examples of why. If you get 55 people on a thread say, I had crap service, and they show pictures, and they give detailed stories, and they show um, screenshots of their private messages with you before you block them, that's a lot of evidence. And it was on that evidence that I made the call to make a statement in the first place. So no, you can go to court, you can try and sue me, it's going to go very poorly for you, and I guarantee you, if you do sue me, I'm just going to go to Games Workshop and tell them what you've been doing. And normally, I, would, I wouldn't care. I really wouldn't care if someone copied their stuff. I've got no horse in that race. But the fact was, you are trying to attack me for pointing out your piss-poor service. You don't get to fuck up and then cry foul when you get called on it. That's not how it works. You screw people out of money. Those people deserve recompense. Anyway, I'm Macker with the Outer Circle. Please, thoughts and feedback below. And let me know if I'm in the wrong here, guys. I strongly doubt I am, but you know, I want to hear it from you anyway. Am I in the wrong? Um, yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all on the next one.